Hey guys, I'm here with my MAC lipstick collection today. Um, I mentioned it in my last um, haul video, or my MAC haul video, I think. Whoops, knocked them everywhere. Um, and yeah, a few of you were really, really keen. Um, I had a lot of response on that and also um, on Instagram. So here it is. Um, I'm going to have them in order of finish. Um, and I'll tell you, you know, why I like that finish or if I don't like that finish. Um, and yeah, I've got 16 to get through, so let's get into it. The first one is Pervet and it is a glaze. I am not a huge fan of this finish, but I did just really like the colour. It's just a shiny sort of pink lilac colour. And it's really quite sheer but it's not the nicest texture on your lips um, so yeah I don't wear it a lot but um, it is a beautiful color the next one is angel and it is a frost uh, most of you will know this lipstick it is very famous on YouTube um, it's also supposedly Kim Kardashian's favorite or one that she wears a lot um, it's actually my absolute favorite lipstick as well it's my favorite light pink everyday color. That's it there. It's just beautiful for everyday in look. The next one is Naughty Saute and it is a cream sheen. I actually am not a huge fan of the cream sheens. Um, a lot of people seem to absolutely love them, but um, yeah, I, I don't mind them, but they're definitely not my favorite. Um, this was limited edition with the Shop Mac Cook Mac collection. It's just a really vibrant pink. I really love this in spring and summer. It's just a really gorgeous bright pink and I hope the camera's picking that up because it's just beautiful. The next one is another cream sheen in Hot Gossip. This is in limited edition packaging. It was from not last Christmas but the one before, so Christmas 2011. Um, they're white limited edition packaging, but it is a permanent color. It's just a really gorgeous pink with, I guess, a bit of a plum tone in it as well. It's really nice for every day. Okay, another cream sheen, and that is Innocence Beware. This was a limited edition and also a re-promote from I know it was originally in the venomous villains collection and which I didn't get it in it's just normal packaging I got it from I think I think it was shop Mac cook Mac or Iris Apfel no that doesn't sound right I don't know it was one of those collections it was about a year ago it's my favorite favorite nude it's like a yellow toned pink basically and I wish they'd make this permanent and if they bring it out again I'm going to buy another one as a backup because like I said it's my favorite and that's it there it's just beautiful especially with a smoky eye um, or if you have a lot going on with your eyes it looks amazing and I love it the next two I'm going to show you are a matte finish and they're both limited edition this one is in party parrot I think this was recently in another collection, but I got mine last year in the Iris Atfield collection, which it first made its debut in. Um, and I absolutely love this color. It's one of my favorite colors for summer. It's just amazing. It's like this bright orangey red. And every time I wear it, I get so many compliments because it's just amazing. And it, I think it shows up a lot more red than it is on camera, but yeah, it's a little bit more of like a neon orange red. I don't know, I'm not good at describing things, sorry guys. The next one is Party Parrot, which I think was re-promoted. Maybe it was this one and not the other one, or both. I'm not sure, but I got this in the Iris Atfield collection as well. And it's just a bright neon pink which probably isn't going to pick up on camera how bright it is of course because cameras seem to hate neons but it's just amazing another beautiful color for summer the next one is amplified and it is blankety this is one of my favorite sort of brownie toned neutrals it is just so creamy and pigmented and I love it um, it is just so beautiful. 
Um, I really love the amplified finish. They're probably my second favorite finish because they're just so creamy and they last really well as well. The next one is actually a new one for me and it is also amplifi amplified even uh, and it is Bricola. I haven't actually worn this yet but I'm really looking forward to wearing it in autumn and winter. I think it's a beautiful sort of deep red and I'm actually going to swatch it on my other hand. But yeah, it's like a deep brownish red colour and I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's Yeah, it's going to be perfect for this season. The next one is another amplifier and is Watch Me Simmer. This was also from the Shop Mac Cook Mac collection. Um, I loved that collection, if you couldn't tell. And I really wish that they did more collections like that. It was just amazing. Um, yeah, they just brought out some really fantastic uh, lipsticks and also eyeshadow quads. They brought out some great, great products. And this is just a really bright coral, basically. And I love this for summer as well. That's it there. Just beautiful. Okay, the next lot I'm going to show you are luster finishes and they are my absolute favorite finish in a MAC lipstick. I find that they're really quite moisturizing, the staying power is really good and they just give a really nice finish. It's quite glossy and um, it's a bit sheer. It's not too opaque but it's not too sheer. So um, yeah, I just think it's the perfect finish. The first one is Jubilee and it's just a gorgeous nude color so really sheer and glossy i just love it let's be honest i love all of these obviously that's why i bought them i think i can stop saying that now the next one is lovelorn it's just a beautiful pink color a blue based pink which i love um, they tend to go best with my cool toned skin so that's it there the next one is Plumful. It's another new one for me, but it's just this gorgeous plummy colour, just like the name would suggest. And that's it right there. Just gorgeous for autumn and winter. The next one is Sea Sheer. Um, I'm actually wearing this on my lips today. It's just like this gorgeous, I guess, muted red colour. It's a really nice everyday colour and I've been wearing it to death the last couple of weeks. I really like it. Um, I know it's on my lips, but I'll just swatch it anyway. The next one is Flamingo. This one was also limited edition in the Iris Apfel collection. Um, it's just a beautiful sort of creamsicle color. I absolutely love, love, love this. Um, and yeah, I hope that they re-promote it again because if you missed out, um, you'll want to pick it up. It's just beautiful especially if you're fair like me it looks really good the last one is dish it up and this was also from the shop mac cook mac collection and it's just a beautiful deep purple toned color and i really love this for any time of year but especially um in autumn and winter because it's just it's a really nice way to wear something bright um, but that's not too sort of summery bright, I guess you could say. And that's it there. So it's similar to Plumful, but it's a lot more of a deeper purple color. Okay, guys, that's it for my MAC lipstick collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, that really helps me out. And yeah, uh, let me know what your favorite MAC lipsticks are and uh, if you have any suggestions for what I might like or what your favorites are that I should try. And um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.